Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I am so glad that you joined us today. I want to read a scripture from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 3. It said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. I'm giving you a personal invitation to come to Christ. Jesus Christ was born because God the Father sent him to be our Savior, our Messiah, the one who would give his life to save us from our sin. Jesus Christ was buried after he died upon that cross, and then he rose again. It says here in this passage I just read, he's begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He really died on the cross, and he was buried, and he did, in fact, rise again and take up his life and walk out of that tomb. When it says a living hope, I, I sincerely think there are a lot of people in our community who are struggling to find even a slimmer of a piece of, of hope. I mean, they're just struggling in life. It could be family relationships. It could be addictions. It could be financial problems because of lack of work. It could be uh, relationship problems with others. A lot of people have just lost their hope. Jesus Christ is the source of living hope. Sometimes in English we use the word hope like it's wishful thinking. I want you to know Jesus Christ is not wishful thinking, he's real. I want you to also know that he is a living hope. When you put your trust and faith in him, he will give you himself. You know, some people are afraid to give much to God. I want to say, give him your life, he'll give you his. You'll come out ahead on that deal. And so when he says uh, he's begotten us again, you know, when you come to faith in Christ, uh, you become born again. It means he, he gives you a whole new life. You may say, well, my old life is really kind of messed up or struggling. Uh, I'm discouraged. I want to say Jesus Christ will give you a new life and he will give to you a living hope, a kind of hope that will not ever fade away, a kind of hope that will encourage you and transform the rest of your life. He's done that for me and that's why I serve him today. He says, and he also has this uh, inheritance for us. It's reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation. All of that is the work of God. It's like he's the one that provides the power to hold you and no one can snatch you out of his hand. He's the one who has prepared a place for you and it's reserved from you. You know, it's kind of funny, but when you get to heaven, there won't be a no vacancy sign. There will be a place, a real place for you with your name on it, I guess. But it'll be a specific place for you in heaven. And that's a promise. It's not, again, wishful thinking. It's living hope. God bless you. I hope you come and check it out here at our church.